welcome back to my channel and today i want to show you how you can use a safety pin and you're gonna say ah what you're trying to show me i know how to use safety pins this is the safety pins that uh, this kind you're using some safety pins are as a pins and there is something that on tops of small ring that you close and then you put in your um, elastic in here closing with your there is a ring here and then you're going in with a, a process to get in into the fabric you know because you need pens or whatever work it is um so uh see how i lost it already so uh what i am uh, trying to do i'm trying to take my safety pin and uh with the safety pin i want to go in there a little hole and uh go with the safety pin uh in yeah the hole you see how hard it is to get in and um see you're getting in and uh, it's still uh for me at uncomfortable it is uh metal and um i became with idea with idea there is on the internet they are selling things i know to make easy and those things are made from plastic so i decided uh i don't want to order it it um i can do by myself so i want to show you how you can do it with the uh, um, materials that you have at home it's not a fabric it's a plastic clear plastic i will put something under that you can see and i will show you how you can uh, create or do and save yourself you can see now I got this from the store that they was uh, the store that they having things uh, that putting merchandise in and uh, they throwing so um, I got this kind of things and uh, I use them inventing stuff and let me show you what I am going to do and gonna create so let's go well I asked my hobby to help me out and uh, to create uh, things that I tried I hope you can see them here I'll try the best that I can they are having a nose and there is uh, cuts in the middle and uh, you probably will see them on the internet that uh, there is I create two holes here and this is uh, this is me making I asked my hobby to make them uh, much comfortable so he's gonna make a replica and I will show it to you nice way how to create those things instead of the safety pins okay let's go all right so what you need is you will need uh, some kind of ruler or this ruler or that ruler you will need a marker for sure you will need a scissors or you will need a construction knives this is one of the uh, this is all of the things that you will need but uh, my hobby will try and make a replica of the uh, my invention what i did and uh, let's see here it goes 
he's drawing the lines of the uh, on the ruler by the marker now he's measuring all the uh, lines you can follow him he is constructor he knows how to create things and um, he's volunteering to help me out you know as you know we have women hands we need to watch our beautiful hands and this is why we need hobby to help us in these situations now he's uh make the marks on the uh the spear plastic and now he's cutting uh straight uh stripes with a knife with the scissors i will um suggest you to cut on the table he cut in the air he has a uh, study hand so uh, i'll trust him how he creates those things now he marks and makes um uh those stripes um his own special way All right we changed the marker this marker that we had didn't wanna uh work so uh we're back and uh, if you can see what my hub is doing let me go closer and i can show it to you uh how he is creating the um comfortable and uh, uh nice looking uh i cannot call safety pin but it's like um pointer now he's taking scissors and with the scissors he cut very very gentle um, as you know i ask you don't rush you need to cut uh, and you know, uh, or draw the lines well you know take your sweet time so he cut one now he's cutting the bigger one we're putting all the uh, leftovers on the side that it shouldn't uh, be involved with um, all the uh, things that he creates. All right. And um, now uh, what I need is, as you remember, as you remember, that I need to uh, create uh, this kind of pins for uh, this kind of uh, um, elastics and uh, the size of the elastic so um, what I did I asked my hobby to do exact as it needs to be done the um, open spaces that I can go through with uh, this size of elastics so this is what he's doing now um he's continue and working and uh, making uh nice uh openings it's gonna be parallel he's making parallel this kind of openings that you can go through and uh, i think one it's ready and if you can see i'm gonna show it to you on the fabric i will take my fabric and i will show it to you how he did okay uh, what I see, he did an amazing work. If you can see, I can go through and I will show it to you. This is a big one, smaller one, and a much, much smaller one. Now my hub is going to take all of his work away. He's going to clean the surface. And I will continue and showing you what... Uh, I uh, create so uh, as you can see I like to save 
and uh, I don't see necessarily to buy those things if I can create them and this is what I'm going to do so um, is elastic I'm banging a little bit I'm, I'm pushing inside creating a little opening that I can put my elastic and then I am creating another on the other opening to get in with another if it doesn't uh, get uh, strong enough so you can go and double it or triple it and you can make uh, uh, another opening if you want but for me it's enough it's holding very good you see it doesn't move very very fast and I can go through the opening and I can put my um, elastic in now I'm going to remove the uh, safety pins they are nice and everything I like them but uh, what I need is this is another of the um, variations of elastic that I can go through and again I have two different openings and uh, if you don't feel strong enough you can use another opening and you can secure it with now I don't feel sad if it's gonna be broken or ruined because I have enough of uh, this material to create more so it's just taking a minute to create and it will save me some money so this is what I'm trying to tell you not everything I order there's certain things that if you need to go through you can go through certain things you can create and uh, you can use and um, um, it costs me nothing you know so I'm removing another pin and uh, this is the opening for my uh, smaller elastic and uh, if I need to go oh my god is holding with his teeth oh it's so strong this uh, um, this uh, kind of a plastic if you don't feel that you secure enough just go around you know go around and go again in that opening you know and it will hold there no matter what and this uh, uh, won't run away so I will take another again um, in pens and I find the opening that I create before to get in let me see where it is on the other side I think yes so and uh, I will show you how you can get in easy clear look how beautiful it is you can go in with this it holds very nicely and it's so thin you see it's so thin so it goes very 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 nice in and if I feel I make mistake I'm just pulling my elastic back very patiently for sure and I can find myself out even that I got myself in patiently rushing nowhere here I go I went back and forth and I'm now going further don't rush with this because it's uh, still you just make it and you want a couple of times to enjoy this invention if you see I have it in and you just simple releasing the uh, one of the openings that you got into it here you go I hope that you can see I know it's hard to see because it's clear but it's uh, satisfied me with uh, the situation that I can create you see this you can create bigger smaller uh, much smaller medium size or you can create um, whatever size that you want and all you need the materials that goes to waste 
you know, the anyway, they will be thrown out. So, if you can see, I have my elastic in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I give you some ideas how you can save. And with the savings, you can enjoy and create um, more comfortable tools that you need when you are sewing. And I see you next time.